Rob Seco, Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. Let's talk about establishing a uniform corn crop. You know, our, our new head of agronomy, Todd Clausen, says that corn is a delicate crop. And tell me why he says that. You would not normally think of corn as a delicate crop. I mean, it's really drought tolerant. It has to go through a lot through the whole growing season. But at emergence time, corn is a delicate crop. I mean, you get plants that come up one day and then maybe two days later, another plant emerges, maybe four days later, another plant emerges. And that really hurts your yield potential for the year. I mean, each of those two day gaps in emergence can result in three to four bushels an acre. And so you're talking up to eight bushels an acre in lost yield potential due to non-uniform emergence. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are the things we can do to establish a uniform crop, uh, you know, high yielding, uh, all the plants are alike? How do we do that? Yeah, so a couple of uh, key critical items on that are you really have to have that seed at a uniform depth. So all the seed is uniformly planted with really good seed to soil contact and high quality seed, high quality seed treatment. Also managing residue in the fall, using a biological to manage that residue uh, could be critical in this and getting that good seed to soil contact, right? Exactly, products like residue release, which will help break down that residue in the fall, will help create that better seed to soil contact. So if you're gonna make such a, a large investment in putting in that crop with the planter, other additions, other inputs, uh, you really don't want to short things. You want to do everything possible to have that uniform stand. That's exactly right. I mean, you're going to have fields that are already emerging uniformly, but you want to make sure all of your fields are. And so using products to help with residue management or providing micronutrients to the seed as it's emerging in order to give it the best opportunity to have available nutrients around it and uh, photosynthesize all the light coming in through additional vigor, whether that's using the micronutrients themselves or using additional biologicals such as Terrasim. And there are some new products coming out of the marketplace that will actually help fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to make it available for the plant itself as well. So Jim, we've talked about establishing a vigorous stand in corn and what are some of the innovations to do this? Yeah, so really this is going to be a systems approach to innovation on, on how we establish that uniform stand. It's doing everything we've been doing up to this point, but then adding in these last couple of components that are really going to get things going. And so that could be adding zinc into our, our planting bed, whether on the seed or otherwise, which will help release other nutrients from the soil to be available. It could also be through uh, addition of other bacteria that may fix nitrogen from the atmosphere or may actually help solubilize uh, other nutrients in the soil to be more available for that plant to take it up and then grow. But really, you have to take all of those things together and they have to be delivered in such a way that the bacteria are alive and it's evenly distributed across yeah. the seed. Well, and, and the way we do that is we use the biocapsule technology, right? Mm -hmm and uh, that delivers 10 times the live microbes that we really need. Jim, we've talked a lot about corn. Does this also apply to soybean and other crops? Absolutely. To achieve those maximum yield potentials across all crops, all of these same concepts will apply to have a vigorous, uniform emergence across the entire field. And so it's really effective in, in the way it works. And we use that here on Future Farm, don't we? That's exactly right. And we are gonna have great stands. Mm -hmm. We'll be uh, taking lots of pictures this spring. Yep, that's right.